He is, is mocking you. He is laughing at the great prophet Tombstone Bullock. Hello, everyone. Thank you for stopping by the Alabama Woodsman, a Christian channel where doctrine absolutely matters. Today's video, but first this. Hello everyone, and thank you for stopping by the Alabama Woodsman. If this is your first time here, I hope you can find something you can use in this video. And if you're a return viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Now, in the past, I've, I've made the comment, um, or I've tried to express what I'm seeing, that these electronic Bible programs are going to start changing. This is why you need a hard copy of the Word of God. Um, it, it, it's, it's not, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that when the Antichrist starts to come on powerful, he's going to have to get rid of current day Bibles. Now, those of you who use electronic Bibles, and I do in my research, that's how I cut and paste so easily, um, you've got to be very careful because when you update that program or when you update your computer, they could easily change the wording right then. And if you're counting on that digital Bible to be the exact Word of God and you don't know any better, you might get tricked. That brings us to this article right here. This is a very, very interesting article. The headline reads, AI can create a new Bible. Influential author declares, in a few years, there might be religions that are actually correct. Folks, if this man looks familiar, it is because his name is Noah Harari. Yeah, uh, let's, let's go back and look at what the prophet Robin Tombstone Bullock said about Mr. Harari. So... I'm going to read to you an article, and it's it's not the headline I just showed you, okay? I've tried to find that, and I can't remember where I got it, um, but I found another article, and I just want to read you a little bit about what this other article says about Mr. Harari and what he claims AI will be able to do in the near future. Israeli historian, philosopher, and best-selling author Yavol Noah Harari has warned that artificial intelligence is now able to compose its own religious texts that would likely attract worshipers. Harari told the AI Frontier Forum event in Switzerland that uh, adherent, uh, adherents could potentially at one point be instructed by computers to kill other people people. Huh. He's saying that AI, you know, someone has to tell AI what to do, could write a Bible which tells its followers to kill other people. Isn't that interesting? Now, I don't know what to tell you about this other than I've been screaming for quite a while, that the NAR church is going to come after the remnant church because the remnant church is not going to participate in the NAR manure. I've been saying this for months now, if not a year or two. I keep telling you they're going to come after you. They're going to come after you because they know who you are. You were, you, you used to be one of them. But they ended up being a goat. When you ended up being a sheep, they ended up being a goat. And they have drawn themselves away. But see, they think they hear from God. They hear voices. And when they read a Bible, these lost scriptures found one day, 
Let me tell you something. AI is going to be able to put a Bible together that doesn't have contradictions. I'm not saying the Bible does have contradictions. I'm just telling you, see, the Bible was written on the, under the unction of the Holy Spirit, so it's flawless. But AI could also write a Bible, type of Bible, that does not have contradictions and they're going to they're going to play it off like they, these are lost bible verses this is a lost book of the bible and it could tell the NAR Christians what to do with people who won't conform to the antichrist church now the person Mr. Noah Harari is an interesting individual he's part of the world economic forum and you know he caught the eye of the prophet Bullock. Yes, Tombstone himself got a prophecy, a word from God about Mr. Harari, and this is what he put out in a video. Let's watch. Now, a little bit into my video, it starts like this. A little history on Mr. Harari. Evolution by natural selection with evolution by intelligent design. Not the intelligent design of some god above the clouds, but our intelligent design and the intelligent design of our clouds, the IBM cloud, the Microsoft cloud, these are the new driving forces of evolution. All right, there it is, okay? That's... The, the video that I'm commenting on. And here comes Robin, full of the flesh. Gotta act like he's mad. Righteous indignation. Both barrels. I mean, he's starting his body language. He can't wait for this lady to be quiet. Go ahead, lady. Keep calling. Keep call. I, gotta, I gotta say this. I gotta say this. I gotta say this. Yeah, pitiful. And if you look at what uh, Klaus Schwab, World Economic Forum, the Young Global Leaders, if you look at his advisor, they call the prophet, Dr. Harari. The prophet. Ooh. Yeah, Robin, I can, I can uh, sympathize with you. I get pretty upset when someone's called a prophet and I know they're not. Yeah, I, I, I got you, man. I can feel you. But here's the thing. The lady said his followers call him the prophet he didn't call himself the prophet she said his followers call him the prophet robin gets so far into the flesh he forgets all about that you look at the things he said he uses jesus christ's name in it yeah and you we know. don't need a savior we don't need and that there's a uh, all these is issues about uh uh, you know, there, we, 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 we don't look to some God in the cloud. We look to the cloud where the technology, we get our answers. So what did he say? That he doesn't believe in Jesus? A lot of Israelis don't believe in Jesus. Well, let me ask you this. Do you go off on everyone who says they don't believe in Jesus like, like you're about to do? I mean, I don't think you're anti-Semitic. Um... I think you need to learn where the hexagram comes from and why it is not the true symbol of Israel. Uh, has something to do with King Solomon and paganism. What? Why? Why? Is it because someone else was called a prophet? Okay. All right. Well, let's let's see uh, let's see Robin's uh, word from the Lord. And this is the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord came to me saying this. You call yourself the prophet. Open your mouth again and I'll lay you on your face, says the Lord. You will not rise up against me in this time. For my people have called to me through the blood of the Lamb and I will honor every call made. For you open your ignorant mouth again and I will close it, says the Lord. For you will reap a harvest instantly on the spot and I'm going to make a fool out of you in front of everybody. For I will show you who is God, and you are not him. For the Lord says this, Hear the word of the Lord and obey. 
<laughs> for it is your last chance to obey. Mm. Shut your filthy mouth, mm. for mm. I am going to show you. I will mm. shut it for you, says the Lord. Mm. And all of those connected to you mm. will run like scattered roaches and rats from your presence. So you heed this call, says the king. And I have, I have took supernatural steps to get this word to you, and you will hear it. And you dare laugh at me. You dare laugh at mm. my prophet sitting on this set Ooh. talking to you. Dare open your mouth and laugh, and it will be the laugh of the worshipers of Baal. For this time has come, mm. and you will be no more, says Ooh. the Lord, the King of glory. Mm. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. 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 Folks, that was not a prophecy from the Lord. Not a prophecy from the Lord. It, I'm going to break this down, and I'm going to show you how fleshly this really is. All right? Let's get started. And if you look at what... Uh, Klaus Schwab, World Economic Forum, the Young Global Leaders. If you look at his advisor, they call the prophet, Dr. Harari. As I said before, they call him the prophet. He doesn't call himself the prophet. So in your little fleshly prophecy where the Lord says, you call yourself the prophet, that's Robin Bullock speaking. That's Robin Bullock speaking out of his heart with his pride. That is not from the Lord because the Lord would have gotten it straight. She just said it seconds before his followers call him the prophet. Let's move on. The prophet. Ooh, you look at the things he said. He uses Jesus Christ's name in it. Yeah, and you we know, don't need a savior. We don't need, and that there's uh, all these is issues about, uh, uh, you know, there, we, 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 don't, we don't look to some God in the cloud. We look to the cloud where the technology, we get our answers. Yes, yeah, secular humanists will believe science before they believe religion. Every day and twice on so, well, you know. Um, so what? So what? I don't see Robin Bullock protesting rock concerts where they're cursing the name of God left and right. I don't see him attacking anyone else like this. But there's a reason and I know it. And before the video's over, Mr. Bullock, I'm gonna share exactly why you do stuff like this. Exactly why. Let's move on. And this is the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord came to me saying this, you call yourself the prophet. No, he didn't. Open your mouth again and I'll lay you on your face, says the Lord. This video's at least a couple days old and I dare say I'd bet the house Mr. Harari has opened his mouth again. As far as I know, Mr. Harari's still chugging along. You will not rise up against me in this time. Why not? It's, it's the last day. You prophets, prophets have been saying this is the last day. This is the last hour. This is the last day. Your hour of visitation. Why shouldn't the foundation of the Antichrist start being laid right now? I know what the answer is. It's because you don't believe it. You're, you're uh, the kingdom now, seven mountain mandate. Everything's going to be great before the Lord returns. You're, you're one of those believers. You know why? Nobody likes a prophet who just dumps on everybody all the time. For my people have called to me through the blood of the Lamb, and I will honor every call made. For you open your ignorant mouth again. Open your ignorant mouth again. You know, Mr. Bullock, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that man's not ignorant. I would think his IQ and your IQ, there's a great divide. To be honest, probably my IQ as well. But he's not ignorant. He's lost. He's not ignorant. But see, the prophet Bullock's anger is oh, it's just burning. I can't call you what I really want to call you because I'm on video and I'm a Christian. So I'm going to call you ignorant. Ridiculous. 
and I will close it, says the Lord. For you will reap a harvest instantly on the spot, and I'm going to make a fool out of you in front of everybody. You know, I notice Timothy Dixon uses a lot of the same statements. Now it's all about you will reap a harvest immediately. Immediately what the prophet says will come to pass. Yeah, he said that in July of 2021, I think. And uh, no, no, not even close. Uh, you know, Mr. Bullock and, and Mr. Uh, Dixon are seem to be big buddies. They kind of feed on each other. You know, Dixon's always having dreams about Bullock. I don't follow Bullock enough to know what he dreams about. Um, but this, this is more theatrics. Let's continue. For I will show you who is God and you are not him. Never claimed to be God. But since the prophet Bullock is on a roll, it sounds good. It just has nothing to do with what the lady said. I've never heard Harari say he was God. In fact, he doesn't believe God. He doesn't believe in God. Why would he think he's God if he doesn't believe in God? Oh, my word. This is disgraceful. For the Lord says this, hear the word of the Lord and obey, for it is your last chance to obey. Mm. Shut your filthy mouth, mm. for mm. I am going to show you. I will mm. shut it for you, says the Lord, mm. and all of those connected to you mm. will run like scattered roaches and rats from your presence. So you heed this call, says the king, and I have, I have took supernatural steps to get this word to you, and you will hear it, and you dare laugh at me. You dare laugh at my prophet sitting on this set talking to you. Self-aggrandizing. Don't you dare laugh at my prophet sitting on this stage. Mr. Bullock, you're a false prophet. This is the flesh, the flesh, the flesh. God is holy, holy, holy. You're in the flesh, in the flesh, in the flesh. This is ridiculous. This is not prophecy. Anyone who has truly seen prophecy happen knows this is not prophecy. See, the, re the reason why people flock to you, Mr. Bullock, is they like what you say. They like what you say. Get their ears tickled. The Bible says in the end times, they will find themselves false teachers that will say what they want to hear. Dare open your mouth and laugh, and it will be the laugh of the worshipers of Baal. For this time has come, hmm. and you will be no more, says Ooh. the Lord, the King. Let me get this straight. So first, God was going to put him on his face, and then God was going to embarrass him then God was going to cause all his friends to leave like roaches and rats. But now as God, God is going to cause him to be no more? Well, that prophecy really progressed fast. It went downhill quick. The flesh. This is not a prophecy. No. This is a man who is upset. His pride has been assaulted. A prophet? Oh, I'm a prophet. And now all of a sudden this prophecy comes out to Mr. Harari. <laughs> Folks. Yeah, I'm laughing. I'm sorry. This is this is this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. This is disgusting. Some people get nervous laughter when, when stuff is really bad and I can't help it. This is this is really bad. This brings embarrassment to the house of God in the name of Jesus Christ. This is why secular people laugh at us. This is why people in Washington, D.C. think people from Alabama are a bunch of stupid hicks. This right here, right here, Mr. Bullock, it's because of you, the Bible says, some people won't get saved. Find that in Jeremiah. False prophets cause people not to get saved, and God has to treat them like Sodom and Gomorrah. You're causing, you are potentially causing souls to be lost with this nonsense. Just so you can sit there and, and stomp your stick on the on the uh, podium and say, you're a prophet, thus saith the Lord. And the Lord, words came to me. It's 
stop it. Of glory. Mm. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. 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 And this is the way of those who are foolish and of their posterity who approve their sayings. Like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them. The upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. Hallelujah. And their beauty shall be consumed in the grave far from their dwelling. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we honor you. We honor your word, Lord. Yes. Thank you, those that are that shake their fist in your face, God. Yes. They shall be consumed by their own doings. Yes. Ooh, Father, we praise you. Thank you. Hey, Robin, the lady's more believable as a prophetess than you are a prophet. You know, I think I know what it is. And I'm speculating. I'm just speculating. Robin likes the spotlight. I mean, look at this. I've never seen a man so talented that he can play guitar, sing, and hold a staff up. That is a talented musician. And look at this one. It's, oh my gosh, he's just so stoic here. Just so thoughtful. So just, I mean, is he contemplating on the Lord or or what it's like to, 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 to be able to, to have people call him prophet, just so stoic, just so almost majestic. Really people, this is what prophecy is in America today. All right, that's it, I'm done. All you uh, bullock sheep, let me have it. Let's, let's see how many of you maintain a, a Christian uh, demeanor here. Remember, I already know I'm fat, y'all try something else. Uh, I already know I'm fat, okay? Uh, re go receding hairline or something. Um, but don't waste my time with the fat jokes because I've already heard it, okay? I gotta go find an aspirin. I'm done. God bless. So, folks, that was the video that I made uh, in May of 2022 on a video that Robin put out in this lady. Um... You could tell that Robin was in the flesh. There was so much wrong with it. I'm going to recap on it. You just watched it. But I do want to draw a little bit of attention. You see, Mr. Bullock said the man would be dead. He started out with, I'll put you on your face. And then it went downhill from there. Very quickly, God changed his mind from, I will put you on your face to, I'm going to kill you. That's how fast that prophecy evolved, which is another way, you, you know, this is not of God. Well, Mr. Bullock, we're still waiting on Mr. Harari to uh, be pushing up daisies. He is, is mocking you. He is laughing at the great prophet Tombstone Bullock. He comes out and broadcasts for all the world to see and basically says there's coming an AI Bible and it's going to going to persuade people. Folks, Mr. Harari is not speculating. Mr. Harari is telegraphing. Big difference. Mr. Bullock, what happened to your prophecy, sir? What happened to, thus saith the Lord, sir? Why is this man not dead? It's my phone. I mean, you got up on that, on that set. And you stomped your little staff. And you got mad. And you shook. And you said, God through you said, you were going to kill that man. For the Blasphemies he did before your God. You prophesied it. Why is the man not dead, Mr. Bullock? I know why. I know the answer. I'm going to give it to you. And then we're going to wrap this video up. The answer is this. Mr. Bullock lied when he said that was a prophecy. He is not a prophet. Harari versus the prophet Bullock? 
Harari just took game, set, and match. You lose, Mr. Bullock.